Well, court decisions today could throw a wrench into how some buying health care can pay for it. News Street's Jess Carp explains the impact on thousands buying plans on the federal exchange, Jess. Well, this most affects states like Wisconsin, who did not start their own exchange and sent people to buy plans on healthcare.gov. So this process is going to take a while. No one's going to lose their subsidies uh, immediately, if ever. ABC for Health Executive Director Bobby Peterson says he's cautioning clients he helps not to worry about losing money to pay for health care just yet. Two federal appeals courts disagreed within hours of each other Tuesday. One panel of judges saying those who bought plans on healthcare.gov can't get subsidies because of how narrowly the Affordable Care Act was written. The other judges saying they can because Congress intended anyone buying a plan to get the tax break. That affects Wisconsin, where some 130,000 people bought coverage through healthcare.gov. If the governor had decided to build our own exchange, like everybody advocated for him to do, we wouldn't be in this position. If the governor had expanded Medicaid, a lot of these really low-income folks could have been covered by Medicaid expansion at 100% federal funding. A spokeswoman for the governor says the rulings were exactly why Governor Walker's reforms made sense for Wisconsin and why he didn't take the federal government's expansion to protect Wisconsin taxpayers and those living in poverty from continued uncertainty. The Obama administration has says it will appeal this decision and observers say the cases have a good chance of heading to the U.S. Supreme Court, meaning this issue will be uncertain for months. In the meantime, those getting health care subsidies will continue to get the subsidies while this case all proceeds in court. All right, story we'll keep a close eye on as always. Jessica Arp, thank you very much.